Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, David here from the um, Thailand Collectibles channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing you uh, another selection of old Thai envelopes um, with nice postmarks and stamps on them and things like that that I've collected over the years. I have a very large collection um, of all collectibles, especially on Thailand. Um, so we'll get stuck right into it. I just put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Yes, um, I'll just show them to you. I won't go much into details about them. Um, here's a, let me just take this one out the cover. This one's actually got on the back the Pratip Tip Company in Bangkok. I like all the ones with the company names on them. I actually do some research on, on them to see if they're still going. Um, this one is from the Ken Thick store in Bangkok. I love the old stamps of Thailand. Okay, this one here is from the Bangkok Pharmacy Limited Partnership in Bangkok. That's the front of it. There's the logo at the top. And the stamps are on the back. Some nice old stamps here. I have another one exactly from the same place. But these ones have another a lot of stamps on the back as well. Um, this one is uh, from Shem Sahamitur and Company in Bangkok. Sorry about my pronunciation; it isn't the best. I hope they're coming, you can see that okay. Yeah. This is an old one, looks like it's from um, 1933, it looks like. It's the back of it. The old postmark there. And it's the front of it. Uh, the next one has got Kayang Guan Company, Bangkok. Seems most of them to be in Bangkok. They didn't do business anywhere else in Thailand back in those days. And this one was going to San Francisco. This one is just a, an envelope that was going to New York. It's a very old one. Uh, this one is from 124 Sel Saladin Road, Bangkok. And this one was going to Belgium. selection of uh, stamps on there. So they put it. This one um, isn't as old as the other ones but it's got some nice stamps on it, nice clear postmarks. It's going to Switzerland. It's from Thailand to Switzerland. The next one is, uh, this is going to Cincinnati, Ohio, USA. Uh, it's a registered envelope. Got plenty of stamps on it. 
good selection of stamps. There's a lot of postmarks on the back plus another stamp. I hope you can see that clearly. Uh, this one is just a, a Neverlade going to France from Thailand. This next one is um, a registered envelope and it's um, going to the McGraw Hill Publishing Company in New York and it was from um, the Thai Engineering Consultants in Bangkok. That's the front of the envelope, it registered. And a lot of cases they always put the stamps on the back for some reason. Not, not sure why, maybe because there's a lot of uh, writing on the front and it's the only place they can put the stamps. That one is actually from 19, uh, 9th of April 1964. It's just an, um, uh, a postcard. It's blank on one side and it's the front of it. It's just got a stamp. It looks okay. I like the stamp. Talking about postcard, my wife got me some um, uh, postcards for the was it the World Cup soccer we just had um, last year and. Um, uh, she got me 200 of them. I think she said 200. She, there's a um, cousin works in the post office, and she, she, when something special comes out, um, she, she saves them for me. And um, I'll show them on my trip when I go to Thailand at the end of this month. Um, it's just another. This one was going to uh, to France from Thailand. I can't wait to do uh, some videos when I go to the markets to show you all the old stuff that they sell in the markets in Thailand because they've got so many night markets. It's not like here in Australia, we don't really have that sort of um, th thing to go to at night. Here's another one that's going to France. That's why I love Thailand so much. You can never get bored. I love the, the markets. Here's, a, here's another one. Uh, Going to France from Bangkok. France, France is a popular des destination. <laughs> okay, some nice old stamps on there. The stamps are actually turned sideways to the top two. You can have a better look at those. Uh, this one here is from the Foreign Service, or oh, going to the, uh, it's actually it's got on the envelope printed, the Foreign Service of the United States of America official business care of the American Embassy, San Francisco. Okay, it's uh, got some nice stamps on it. Nice big envelope, that's it. The logo there, and there's the stamps. Here's another envelope that was sent to, to France from Thailand. Some nice stamps on there, some nice old ones. This next one, it's, um, it's got Malayan Airways, first friendship flight between Kuala Lumpur and Bangkok. Uh, that looks like it was in uh, 1963 by looking at the postmark. And, and this one was uh, sent to the manager at Malayan Airways Limited in Kuala Lumpur. Nice striking envelope, colourful, some nice stamps. And there's a postmark at the back, Kuala Lumpur. 
Okay, next one is a, well, it's just a, a three bar uh, aerogram that was uh, sent to the friends. I've got quite a few of these um, aerograms of different types. Just got to find where I put them. <laughs> I've got so many things, finding it is the hardest part. Uh, this one is a, uh, a Boeing 707 first scheduled jet flight from S Sydney, London via Singapore with Qantas. And it's sent to the manager at Qantas Airways Limited in London from Bangkok. Um, I'll take it out of the plastic because there's a nice nice um, postmark there the point is airways on it here's a, a, an envelope here can't tell what year it's posted but um, it's got a lot of nice colourful striking stamps and it was uh, sent to Australia in uh, Baldwin, Victoria registered some nice stamps here nice clear postmarks it's got the registered in, uh, sticker on there and stamp Here's another registered envelope uh, going to Launceston, Tasmania in Australia and it was from um, 165 Sikumovic, Bangkok. It's got um, quite a number of uh, extents postmarks on the back there which is uh, very striking. Uh, a couple more to go. Uh, this one here was sent to Australia. Um, it's not an old one, but it's got some nice, nice stamps on there. And that was coming going from Bangkok. An express post. Nice. As my friend says, nice. Okay, this is um, this one went to the UK registered. Um, oh, I didn't never notice the back of this one. Um, that was from Bangkok. It's a very striking envelope. It's a big one. It's got some nice, nice stamps on it. There's a front of it, but I never I forgot about the back of this one. I how many stamps it had on it. Wow. A lotus names front and back Sig signi it went by signature required royal mail okay this next one is a email luft post um, it's got manila on it uh, first flight frankfurt karachi bangkok manila lufthansa um, and it's, it was sent to lufthansa german airlines in manila philippines uh, 19, 17th of April 1981. What's the front of it? See my fingers, so you can see the postmark. It's just the back. Okay. I've got three more to go in this lot. Okay, this one was sent to Australia from Bangkok. Seems like only people in Bangkok send mail. <laughs> um, okay, this has got an express post stamped all over it. A couple of nice nice stamps on there. My wife has a, a very large, beautiful Thailand stamp collection. I'll, I'll get her to show that to you. I'm entirely. Actually, she's got 
half of it here and half of it over there. Okay, this one's from Bangkok to um, Australia again. It's got express all over it. It's a more recent one as well. And lucky last, this one is to Western Australia. And that one is also from Bangkok. How did I know that? Okay. I've got a stack a load of um, Thailand envelopes. I'll have to do them over a few few videos because it'll take me just too long and I'll keep me here all day. <laughs> uh, I'm sure most of you people have got better things to do. Um, okay, that's, uh, I'll leave it there. Um, yeah, if you can, um, if you're a new viewer, if you can hit the like, give us a thumbs up. It would be appreciated. Um, uh, comment. I like comments and I'm not getting any at the moment. <laughs> so it's only a new channel. I've only been going just over a week. Um, subscribe. I've only got seven subscribers. Uh, like I said, I've only been going a week. Um, I really want to build this channel. Um, yeah, if you can um, share if you like. Um, uh, on, like I said in my previous videos, I'll be off to Thailand on the 27th of this month, which is 12, 12 days. In 12 days' time, I'm going for nearly nearly four weeks. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of videos, like I said um, previously. We're going to be going to all the markets and night markets and day markets. We're going to check out what's what's on offer. Um, plus, I'm going to be doing. I have another channel which I've got over 2,000 subscribers. Call the Aussie Thai Lifestyle Channel if you if you want to check out the other videos that I'll be doing. Because I'm going to be doing some underwater. Um, metal detecting as well on, on that channel, um, and uh, and doing be doing uh, videos on Songkran on that channel as well, and and Cha and Beach and Hua Hin, all, all the places that I'll be going to. Anyhow, I'll leave it there. And um, thank you very much. Thanks a million for watching. And um, from me to you, love you all. Have a great day. Bye bye. Until next time. Ciao.